Hi, my name is Brad Bazemore. I'm the lead product manager at Red Hat for Red Hat Developer Hub. Today, I wanted to show you Developer Hub from the perspective of a developer. Before I was a PM, I was a developer. And there was a lot of pains and a lot of things that I was frustrated with all the time. And I think the biggest one, the thing that I want to talk about today, is what happens when you need to get started. So let's say you've been tasked to start a new project, create a new microservice to do something, maybe handle a new API, maybe work with a new database, whatever it may be. One of the biggest frustrations that happens right away is just getting it up and running. You gotta go find permissions over on this side, file a ticket here. Does anybody know where this actually lives? Hey, I wasn't able to elevate this, I need to get this to management, but management doesn't even know how to reach out to, do we use Argo for this or are we supposed to use something different? Hey, what version of Quarkus are we running on? Is there a repo? And on and on and on and on it goes. If you're lucky, your company has this handled for you. But too often, even if it is handled, it's fragile and frustrating. So I wanna show you how Red Hat Developer Hub tries to make that a little bit easier. So if you didn't know, Developer Hub is built on Backstage. And one of the core philosophies of Backstage is what's called software templates or golden path templates. And the idea is that, quite frankly, if we make it really easy and self-service for a developer to follow best practices, they're gonna follow best practices. It's gonna unblock them and help them move faster. So let's go back to that example of me needing to spin up a new, you know, Quirka service. Let's see what that might look like. Well, with Developer Hub, I'll simply click Create. Here, I'll be taken to the available Golden Path templates. Now for me, I know that we wanna use Argo and Tecton. So we'll use the one here at the bottom. Click Choose. Great. Now I've just got some basic information to fill out. And unlike a classic ticket system, uh, it's not gonna take me forever to figure out because this was designed just for me. So I've got some good defaults here. These make sense. And for the image registry, I'm gonna say OpenShift. And for the application repository, we'll use GitLab and that's correct. All right, that looks good to me. Let's get started. Once I hit create, the golden path template will take care of the rest. It will execute and get everything started up following the processes that generally the uh, developer engineering or DevOps team has set up that's the best practices for doing this. It's gonna build everything I need, create the repository, set up the code and add it to the catalog. So if we click here in the catalog, there's my Quarkus app. Click on this and now you can see everything I need is there. We've started to pull images for Kubernetes, so that'll take a second as Argo CD kicks into gear. And we have OpenShift topology in here, once the application gets spun up. But this is getting spun up correctly, the way it needs to be. So sure enough, here we go, application got started. Well, we already found a problem right away. The Quarkus app isn't being deployed right, and that's my bad. I shouldn't have used the OpenShift registry, I should have used Quay. But if Tecton was set up, we'd have that here, Kubernetes, we can see that information, and clicking right here, taken straight to the source code that's already been set up. So now I have a blank Quarkus service following my company's brass practices, deploy it into our server systems, ready to go. Just as simple as that. This is just one of the many ways the Red Hat Developer Hub makes the life of developers easier, so that I can do what I'm supposed to do, which is just develop. If you want to learn more, you can re-email rhdh-interests at redhat.com or go to developers.redhat.com. Thank you.